Hi, I'm Sarah from Yarn Lab Canada, and today I just wanted to look at a couple different ways that you can spin a single using commercially prepared roving, which I've dyed here at home. This roving is from Knit Picks. It's the Bear Wool of the Andes uh, roving, and retails for about five dollars Canadian for 100 grams. It dyes up nicely. This has been dyed just using food coloring on the stovetop. And what you see here is I've already divided the roving into four strips lengthways. I've spun up three of them and I'm going to show you on this last strip. Okay, so before we get started, I just wanted to talk quickly about the two different sort of types of a single that you can spin. So you often hear that if it's, um, if it's been carded, so if you have roving that's been carded, then you're going to have a single that is inherently a woolen style yarn versus if you have top which has been combed then you're going to produce a single that is a uh, worsted style yarn. Now a lot of the times with commercially prepared fibers and for instance with the Knit Picks roving if you go online it'll say it's roving and top in the description. Um, roving the fibers will be more randomly aligned top the fibers will be more parallelly aligned. Uh, looking at the material that I have here, I'd say that you're kind of halfway between a worsted and a woolen is what you're going to get. And what I've been spinning thus far has been, you know, maybe halfway between a worsted and a woolen. So, let's grab my yarn that's already been started. And we'll start spinning. I'm spinning uh, clockwise. So spinning over to the right for my single. And I can just join by letting the fibers touch my single and come back and start spinning. So often you'll see people do a short forward draft if they're making a woolen style yarn or you'll see people do a long and this one's not gonna, gonna sort of generate a long backwards draft very easily but if you're doing a worsted style yarn you'll see a long backwards draft. What I've been doing is holding my hand a little bit differently. So the way that I'm holding the yarn here is to pinch the finished yarn between my thumb and first finger and then I put my pinky down across my palm and lay the unspun undrafted fibers between my pinky and my last finger. So from here I can pull backwards to draft while at the same time simultaneously having quality control over the finished yarn leaving my hand and the twist is actually entering the fiber between my pinky and my thumb so in the palm of my hand. So when we get it spinning, that looks like this. So this is a sort of method that I found allows me to spin quite quickly. And favorite for me allows me to not have to sort of watch my hands as much because it's all by touch. Uh, since I typically watch hours of Netflix at a time when I'm spinning. And so just a different way versus some of the more traditional ways you see people handling their fibers um, when spinning. And I can sort of creep backwards down the roving away from my wheel and then advance onto the wheel, onto the bobbin. And again, that's just alternative to doing this short pinching forward draft or holding here and doing backwards drafting. Um, backwards drafting without having that grip with, um, with roving that's a little bit more, you know, shorter fibers and not as well aligned, you're more likely to get breaks if you're backwards drafting. So this gives you the backwards draft but you've got more control on the fiber to prevent breaking from happening. The other thing that I find that's real nice about this is if you do miscalculate and you break your fiber, you can join back on and get right back at it very quickly. I guess it takes a certain level of multitasking in your hand since you're feeling for the amount of fiber you have back here for pulling as well as you're feeling the finished yarn leaving your hand.
So I'm self-taught on my spinning wheel. I purchased it almost two months ago now and sat down and spun my way through a couple pounds of fiber uh, basically every day over the last two months. And so I haven't had the opportunity yet to sort of learn learn my fiber drafting and my hand positioning from someone who's a more practiced spinner. And because of that, I think, at least compared to what I've seen from other spinners on YouTube, I hold my hand fiber a little bit different when I'm drafting and spinning. Months. Spinning today on my Ashford Kiwi. I've only had this wheel for a little under two months. I bought it new, and I have to say I absolutely adore it. It's my first spinning wheel, and to be honest, the Ashford provided me an opportunity to get into a high-functioning wheel at a low price point, which for a grad student like me, that's very important. That's all I wanted to show you today. If you're interested in following along with what's going on in the Yarn Lab, you can click subscribe below or find my information for my blog, www.yarnlab.ca, in the doobly-doo below. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram as Yarn Lab Canada, and you can find me on Ravelry as Turner Classic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.